Welcome to the Y-N-T-A-A-Y Minis. I'm Chris Smith. Hello, everybody. Oh, where is the switch to this thing? Oh, there it is. Um, you haven't seen me in a long time because I've been here sick in my bed with a bad cold that I caught from my new roommate, um, Zane Lindquist, and my other new roommate, Felicia, his wife. Oh, puppet colds are the worst this time of year. <laughs> but, um, so you haven't seen me in, like, oh, weeks. And I've missed you all, all 10 to 20 of you. But I wanted to talk about Love Never Dies, the Andrew Lloyd Webber musical that is the sequel to The Phantom of the Opera, which I recently saw when it was in Los Angeles. Um, and now it's touring the country, so I just wanted to do a quick little review for those of you who didn't see it, because, you know, it never came to Broadway. It started in 2010 as a sequel to The Phantom of the Opera, and it played in London at the Adelphi Theatre, and it um, ran for like 17 months and got, oh, seven Olivier nominations. I can't remember if it won any. My research did not tell me that because when I was researching, I saw this big, beautiful commercial that they had in London, and it was like, nominated for seven Olivier awards, and then I just didn't check to see. Let me check right now. Hold on. No, it was just nominated for seven Olivier awards, which is the West End's equivalent of our Tony Awards. And, according to my interweb, Legally Blonde the Musical beat it for Best New Musical. Isn't that fun? Um, look, I have Bring It On hanging behind me. And I wish I had uh, Love Never Dies hanging in here. I have Bright Star there. But, um, but that's hanging in the living room, the poster. I So I bought the poster. I bought this beautiful program, which I never normally do, but since since this is um, Love Never Dies and it's never played on Broadway, the guy at the, at the uh, merchandise booth was even saying to people, this is historic because this is really the first time it's played in North America, because it's on its North American tour, and I saw it at the beginning. Um, but there are other tour dates... You should check online. Look how thick this is. Normally, they're like so thin, and you're like, why did I buy that when you get home? But so there are other tour dates. I don't have the dates, but go online. Um, it's in Seattle till May 13th. So you have this weekend, if you're watching right when this premieres. It, then it's going to Portland, Oregon, Hartford, Connecticut, Buffalo, New York, Greenville, South Carolina. Nashville, Tennessee, from June 19th to the 24th, 2018, of course. Uh, my, maybe my friend Carietta will go see Love Never Dies. Hi, Carietta. You know, she's getting married in July. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Houston, Texas in July. Dallas, Fort Worth. They're doing the Texas tour. It's a Texas roundup, y'all. Uh, Kansas City, August 14th to the 19th. And Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, September 11th to the 16th. So those are just some of the cities that, that Love Never Dies is stopping in. Um, now, <clears throat> you know, the, um, the original show, Phantom of the Opera, came out in uh, 1986 in London. It just played its 30th anniversary in New York on the Broadway. Um, we did a little video about that. Um, and this one was not very well received. It follows the Phantom like 10 years later, and and he's now living in Coney Island, and he's running sort of like a, a little musical freak show type thing. They have all sorts of, and it's very colorful and very fun, and there's all sorts of people singing and dancing. They have a little person, and the actress who played her is wonderful. Um, here's here's the cast that played the tour. So I'm 
I'm sure you can look them all up when you go online and see who's playing the tour. And, oh, yes, it's very colorful. And I it's also on Blu-ray and DVD, I do believe. I saw it on the big screen in one of those Phantom, um, Phantom one of those Fathom events and with my friend Adam McDaniel, and we loved it. Um, in person, I didn't love it as much. Um, I don't know, maybe I, it just didn't really grab me, but The Phantom is much more sympathetic now, and Christine is married to Raul, and she has a little boy. Um, what's that little boy's name? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, is it, I wanted to say it was Gaston. <laughs> but that's a different show. Oh, Gustav, yes, Gustav. Um, <laughs> and your favorites, Madame Giri and her daughter um, Meg are back. And so the whole gang is reunited in Coney Island. <laughs> it's such a strange concept. They say that it's based on Frederick Forsyth's novel, The Phantom of Manhattan. And um, this this tour is is sort of the Australian production it's um, that that came after the London production and the Australian production was more well received so that is what was was filmed for the screen on stage and and it is a beautiful of, of staging uh, you must get that DVD and watch it and um, but you know Phantom of the Opera had so many good songs, and th though the music was very nice by Andrew Lloyd Webber, and um, who does the lyrics? It's, um, is it um, Glenn? Sl yeah, Glenn Slater did the lyrics for this. Um, you know, it's, it's, um, it's not my favorite, but this made me appreciate Phantom of the Opera even more, and the only song when I left was it feels like there was a song that was like, Love never dies. Love never dies. And of course, there was a beautiful song that there was a video out in 2010 of it um, that went, The day starts, the day ends, time crawls by. Night steals in, Pacing the floor, the moments creep, yet I can't bear to sleep, till I hear you sing once more. This is um, Zane as the Phantom and um, Felicia as, as Christine. Thank you both. Um, so anyway, that's sort of my mini review. Uh, it's good, but um, it's not as good, but sequels often aren't. But bravo you um, to Andrew Lloyd Webber for, um, for continuing the story, and, and this, this um, puts a nice cap on it, like we needed a cap on Phantom of the Opera after 30 years. But... Um, <laughs> But yes, go see fan. Uh, go see um, uh, love never dies. And look, they've added this little subtitle, "The Phantom Returns" down here. I uh, see, and it says 2017-2018 tour. Oh, um, anyway, um, yes, go to the theater, y'all. Catch a little phantom. Goodbye.